you guys, this is Mr. Millings, and today we're going to talk about the pH scale, or the Pondus Hydrogenase Scale in Latin, or the Power of Hydrogen Scale. So the pH scale is a scale that represents the amount of hydrogen ions that are floating around in an aqueous solution. And the pH scale ranges from 0 here on the left all the way to 14 here on the right. And everything between 0 and 7 on the pH scale is an acid or is acidic and everything between 7 and 14 is a base or is alkaline okay so that, that's an important concept to understand and that right at 7 right at a pH of 7 we have a neutral solution like water okay so if it has a pH of 7 it has the same concentration of H plus ions as it does hydroxide ions floating around in that aqueous solution and therefore is neutral so water as we learned in an earlier video has the same concentration of hydrogen ions as it does hydroxide ions floating around and therefore is neutral. So if we take a look at the pH scale, here's how it works. As we move from 7, a pH of 7, to a pH of 0, so if we move this way on the pH scale, the amount of hydrogen ions that are floating around in that solution increases. It increases going from 7 to 0, and therefore the acidity of that acid increases as well. For example, if we take a look at a pH of 7, we have water. As we move to a pH of 6, we have ocean water or seawater. And if we continue to move down to a pH of 2, we are dealing with more acidic substances like lemon juice with a pH of 2 or sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid with a pH of 0. So solutions tend to become more acidic as you move from 7 to 0 on the pH scale. They have more hydrogen ions and less hydroxide ions floating around in that solution and an increased acidity. As we move from 7 to 14 on the pH scale, we will notice that there's an increase in hydroxide ions and a decrease in the amount of hydrogen ions that are floating around in that solution. All right, so as we move from 7 to 14 on the pH scale, there's an increase in alkalinity. In other words, the base becomes stronger as we move from 7 to 14 on the pH scale. If we take a look at a pH of 11, we have ammonia which is a cleaning agent at a pH of 11. We also have liquid drain cleaner like Drano or Lye, another very strong base at a pH of 14. Okay, so another important thing to understand about the pH scale is that it's exponential. So if we move from a pH of 6 to a pH of 5, a solution with a pH of 5 has 10 times more hydrogen ions as a pH of 6. If we compare a solution with a pH of 4 to a pH of 6, a solution that has a pH of 4 has 100 times more hydrogen ions compared to a pH of 6. So let's look at some examples of what I mean by when I say that uh, the pH scale is exponential. Okay, so once again we have our pH scale here and I just want to provide you with a couple of examples where we compare a few different solutions and apply the concept of uh, the pH scale being exponential. So let's suppose we have two solutions. We have a, a solution that has a pH of say 6 and we have a solution that has a pH of say 3. First of all, if we take a look at these two solutions and I ask you which one is more acidic, the solution with a pH of 3 is going to be more acidic. It's going to be more acidic. So what does that mean that it's more acidic? Well, this means that it has more hydrogen ions floating around in that solution. All right, as once again, as we move from 7 to 0 on the pH scale, uh, as you move this way from uh, 7 to 0 moving left, there's going to be more hydrogen ions as you move from 7 to 0 floating around in that solution. So a pH of 3 is a more acidic, but how much stronger is a solution or an acid with a pH of 3 compared to a pH of 6? Well, if we take a look, we are comparing a solution that has a pH of 3 to a solution that has a pH of 6. And every step on this pH scale is basically a power of 10. So if we take a look uh, and compare a pH of 3 to a pH of 6, it's three steps away. 1, 2, 3. So 10 times 10 times 10, or in other words, 10 to the third and we end up with a thousand times more acidic. Or in other words, a thousand times more H plus ions will be floating around in that solution. 
All right. So understand that concept that the pH scale is exponential. If we compare a solution that has a pH of 9 to a pH of 11, then this solution right here with a pH of 11 is going to have 100 times more hydroxide ions than a solution with a pH of 9. Okay, so that's the pH scale in a nutshell. Understand that it's exponential and understand that as you move from 7 to 0 and acid increases in concentration of hydrogen ions and decreases in the concentration of OH minus ions. And as you move from 7 to 14 on the pH scale, there's an increase in hydroxide ions and a decrease in the amount of hydrogen ions that are in solution. So that's the pH scale, people, and I hope that was helpful.